Welcome back, guys. Things are going quite nicely. Now, w one thing I wanted to say is about, about uh, burning burning buildings, right? They don't spread, okay? You do have to, uh, to knock them down to get them replaced. But early on, I suggest don't go crazy with your fire services because they're, they're very expensive. Services in general are very expensive. And uh, knocking down the odd burning building isn't really a big deal. So don't go crazy with your fire service. I did that the first time around. You end up going bankrupt. Or you can end up going bankrupt uh, pretty easily. Right. We've got uh, big uh, residential demand. So we're going to continue expanding our little empire down here. And we can get into this, uh, into this square. Right. I was talking to you at the end of the last episode about uh, residential... Uh, not residential, leisure. Let's take a look at leisure. Now, in SimCity, we were kind of obsessed with um, with land value, right? But here, it kind of works a bit differently. It is land value, but it's a, it's about what affects land value. So, right now, everything's everything's red when you look at leisure. People have got nowhere to go. They've got no parks to go to, or or sports stadiums or anything like that so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this in and this is very very easy to keep your people happy so now this is all going to be commercial and offices so i think we're going to use these um these these plaza type deals rather than the uh, than the parks i think it's more in keeping well, you know what i'm going to put in a couple of um, paradox plazas as well and I'm, like, I'm just trying to think like where am i going to put them you know what i'm going to put a paradox plaza down there and look everybody's instantly a lot happier and you start to see these little green arrows people leveling up look buildings leveling up we pop another one of these over here boom right then I'm gonna pop in some plazas with picnic tables which is kind of kind of just the sort of thing that you'd have in uh, in this kind of commercial office kind of area so where am I going to put these? That's the question. Uh, I'm thinking... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to put like one there. And look how quickly everything goes blue. You don't need to put like absolutely masses of these in. I'm going to try and stay fairly symmetrical about how I do this. Symmetrical-ish. Oh, look. Look, it's all working. And we'll put pop one over here. Uh, will you go in somewhere sensible? That'll do. I'm not going to be too fussy about this. And one there. There we go. And we should find... Oh, ho, 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 now we're pretty happy. And you can see all the little green arrows as people level up. All coming along very nicely. We'll put some more up, like around the outside eventually. But um, that's good enough for now. And the same same over here. Like over here where we've got a couple of parks in, we've already got happy residents. Look at our commercial demand. Uh, our residential demand. Very, very high. And the reason that it's so high is because people are now happy and they're like, oh, that's a really good place to move to. Let's move there. So let's, uh, let's take advantage. Let's get this all zoned in. I think our population is going to go up fairly quickly in, uh, in this episode. Something tells me. So I'm going to zone up a lot of this. Come on, guys. Move in. And we can uh, we can extend them up here. Let's. Um, I think we're going to extend this road. Now, I've got this stupid landfill here which I really should have put this one square further over so that I could have a, a nice connection up to here. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to solve that problem. I'm going to put in a couple more landfills because our garbage usage is up to 67% anyway. And it's going to be, that usage is going to be increasing. Um, so, I think I'm going to come just out here, outside this zoning bit. And I'm going to pop in two three more landfills and then I'm gonna well not demolish can't demolish it yet you can't demolish a landfill while it's got stuff in it right so we need to empty this 
So I'm going to say empty this. And what will happen is, look, look at this. Our little garbage trucks will start coming out of here and taking the the uh, the landfill stuff, the garbage, the rubbish, to uh, to somewhere else where they can dump it. And uh, it should be into these. And then when this is empty, we can demolish this, and then we can put our road connection in, which would be very nice. Except that it'll be like going through hor horrendous pollution, but other than that, it'll be very nice. How are we doing? Good. We can carry on extending our residential areas. Bring that up there, bring this round here. And extend this up here. We can get to our nice little oval up here. Now, we need a road coming out here. Oh, cemeteries. Now, we're going to get into an issue. Because you'll find death care is... is I, I have said this before, and I'm going to keep banging on about this. You're going to find it hard to cope, to cope with um, dead people. See, look. Oh, we got that one. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm looking for like somebody who's died. Oh, here you go, right? Oh, and it went away straight away because there's only uh, there's only a very few people dying at the moment, and our cemetery's coping with it. But later on, you'll find that it's very hard to cope. Now, here's a guy. If we don't go collect that body, then that house will go abandoned. You'll you'll find that that happens a lot. I'm going to put a cemetery in over here. I think to cater for uh, for this area. Oh, and everybody's happy again. See, we've got another. Oh, 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 yeah, there, another dead person. Another dead person over here. They start dying off quite quickly, and coping with that can be a bit of a problem. You'll see later. As, as we get, like, a much bigger city, you'll see that it becomes a bit of an issue. We're going to want a cemetery for this area as well, so I think we're going to put one of those in now. Yeah, let's put it in. Let's put a cemetery in. Oh, let it go. Let go this side. Let's put it in there there we go nice okay so we'll run through our info views electricity just about okay water fine garbage fine health we need to we need to put in some health care we need to put in some health care how's our cash we're up to eight thousand a week but just see what happens when you start putting in healthcare. Now, we're, I think we're going to use um, hospitals. The smaller buildings, their coverage really isn't that great. You're much better off using the uh, the bigger buildings. And especially if you know that you're going to be going to high density later on. Oh, yeah. You're going to need it. Uh, where are we going to put this baby in? I think this guy we're going to put, like... Oh, how about... It? I, we might as well put it opposite the cemetery. Because that'll be really handy. Because, like, when they when they peg it, we can just, like, dump them next door. That would be, <laughs> be really handy. Oh, man. Yeah, let's put this guy down here. And you can see that these guys have, like, like a pretty extensive coverage. So, that's that. We'll put... We'll just put a little one in up here for now. So, like, over here. And do you, do you want to have a look at these buildings? I bet you do. You'll be, some of you will be going, oh, can we show us what they look like? This is the little clinic. The little clinic, to be honest, it's not particularly impressive. I do like the fact that you get the, the, the parking bays and stuff. And they will use these parking bays. They'll actually come and they'll park in these little parking bays. They, which I like. I like the fact that this, that stuff actually gets used. Oh, right. We've just hit 7,500. That makes a big difference, guys. This is, this is, I think, like the biggest milestone. We've unlocked a new area. Uh, we get new taxation policies. We've unlocked level 5 buildings. We get Metro, which is huge. We get a whole bunch of uh, new, new policies. Education boost, for example. But this is the big thing. We get the extra zones. We get high-density residential, high-density commercial, and offices. And that's what's that's what's important getting the old offices we get metro stations we get the university and we get the incineration plant so now we're not dependent just on our uh, landfills where are our landfills here are our landfills right so we could pop start putting in incinerators which is exactly what we're going to do now our speed has gone down because we had a milestone pop up so let's crank that back up i want to keep this going 
Seven and a half thousand. Wow. We're getting there. Right, what am I going to do next? Garbage. Incinerators. Right, I'm going to bang in some incinerators. This is going to be incinerator row over here. So, now you can see your incineration status. So we're going to need like at least like five of these. And I think we're probably going to end up putting like six of these babies in. There we go. That's in the wrong place. So now I can use the handy relocation tool and just relocate that to the right place. How about that? I do like that. I do like that. Right, what else? What else are we going to do? So, having put that, that those garbage incinerators in, right, we can start getting rid of some of this stuff with a bit of luck. How's this doing emptying? Yeah, it's come down. 77% full. The garbage trucks will be taking this out now. But hopefully we can start getting rid of um, some of these other ones. We'll probably want to keep a couple of landfills, maybe. But uh, primarily we're going to be dependent on these incinerators. And they're all cranking up slowly. They've got power. Oh, need a bit of water. Need a bit of water. Let's extend this out. Over here. Boom. There we go. Right. We're, our demands are continuing to go up. Do I want? Okay, you know what? I think we need. To, I think we need a park over here. Oh, I love this. I love this. Right. Let's pop a park in. Can I get a park in there? Oh, see, now that's not quite big enough to get a park in. But we can put something like. Um, you now what? Let's. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to use one of these. I think. Yeah. Eh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Eh. Uh, that is too big. That's way too big, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to be one of these, I think. We'll put a little... No, I, for residential? No, I'm, I'm just going to put a, um, one of these playgrounds in for the kids. There we go. That starts to make people happy. We'll find somewhere for a small park. Where can we put a small park in? Let's put a small park in over here. There we go. And now... Oh, it's all turning blue. Lovely. Uh, what about over here? What should we put in? Eh, another small small playground for the kids. Need to start putting in some schools. Uh, let's, put in, let's put in a small park. on Maybe on this corner. By the hospital. Cheer the patients up. There we go. And it all goes blue again. Lovely. We'll do the same over here. Let's keep extending our zoning. And we can start doing some of the other types of zoning, and this is where it gets starts to get really interesting. So let's uh, let's crank this up. And I, I still want to grow this kind of sort of organically. So we're gonna we're gonna be changing things up from uh, from low density to high density. So let's go over here. I think this is going to be our first like high high density area this area over here oh yeah go on then so what I'm gonna do I'm now I suggest that do this like kind of bit by bit you don't want to do this all in one go and remember when you're designing these areas that it will get rid of the um, the electricity so you do need to take that into consideration here we go they're all going away slowly come on go away go away I might, I might just design this bit here as well. There we go. Come on, guys. Go away. I wish these buildings would kind of design a bit quicker sometimes. Right, so now we're going to zone in some high-density residential. Here we go. And round to here. Right, should we take a look? Oh, I think we should. So these are your level one high density residential buildings. And you know, they're 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 kind of like I guess we'd call them kind kind of tenement apartment blocks kind of thing. And they're kind of you know, not very not very shiny, it's all very drab. There's emergency fire stairs and all that kind of stuff. But wait until you see, as they level up, oh my, 
they turn into uh, something <laughs> quite different. Right, what should we do now? How about doing this strip out here? That's probably a good idea. So let's uh, let's change that up. Let's go to our zoning. We'll dezone this strip down here. We'll help it by getting rid of these buildings. And yeah, should I go down all the way down to here? Yeah, what the hell? What the hell? Let's just get it done. There we go. All done. Come on, you go away. Thank you. Right. Do I do? Do I do the next trip? I, I kind of want this to fill in a bit so that I've got the uh, the electricity. But it should man, it should probably be okay now. Yeah, let's do it. So let's get rid of this section and then zone it in high density. <laughs> and our population, look at our population is starting to fly now. We're up to 8,700. But remember, as you get rid of these, you're losing the taxation from those people. So until the new people move in, right? Your taxes are going to be down. We're down to 6,000 a week. You want to keep an eye on that. And obviously this is going to increase traffic flows and services, demands for services and all kinds of stuff. So, Right. I think what we'll do up here, while we're kind of waiting for those um, to fill in a bit. Oh, didn't want the design. So what I wanted, we're going to put in, we'll do our gravel road thing again. So we'll put a road in there. And we'll put one in down this end. And then, what do you think? One in the middle? Yeah, I think so. Put one in there. And we'll see if we can get some of those um, small parks in. Kind of depends if I've left enough room for them. Oh, no. Not enough room. Not enough room for a small park. Oh, man. If only I'd made it like one square bigger. But it is what it is. So I'm going to use these. Because these are... These are kind of good. We can put one on that side and one on this side and one on this side. And it all turns blue and everybody's happy because they can now go out and they can have picnics. Woohoo! We're all happy, they say. Look at all the little green arrows as all the buildings level up. And now we can start to see some of the, um, some of the nicer buildings. As this, uh, as this levels up. Right, should we carry on? Oh, I think we should. We've got big demand for industrial. So let's extend our industrial zone with this, uh, with this nice... Yeah, I, I said we were going to do farming in this episode. I kind of wasn't anticipating hitting the 7,500. So I'm kind of focusing on the residential at the moment. But I, I think you want to see. I think you want to see this stuff. Let's zone out all of this. And we'll uh, bang it back in as residential. Now, I could use the marquee tool for this. But it's cool. Come on, guys. Fill in. Here we go. And you can see, this takes care of a hell of a lot of demand. You know, just, just zoning in a small area will get rid of a hell of a lot of your residential demand. We need more commercial. Oh, I think we're going to have to start getting rid of this um, this outer circle and putting in some more commercial. Now, we can start upgrading to high-density commercial. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are going to be quite nice. But I think the nicest buildings are the office buildings. Now, let me show you. This, this is what I really wanted to show you about the noise pollution. Let's take a look at the noise pollution. Now, industry is obviously very, very noisy. But commercial is also very noisy. Look at this. Okay? And the residential people who are living next to this commercial don't like it. I've got this one house up down here that doesn't have water. I really need to extend this pipe. He's been, this poor guy has been having to shower with bottled water for, like, years. There we go. You happy now? Thank you. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, little family. Um, so, yeah, so offices and noise pollution is what I was talking about. So, all of these residents around here are living with all of this noise and they hate it. Right? And it makes them sick. So, what we're going to do is, um, is, first of all, we'll get rid of this info view. We're going we're gonna to move the residential and we're going to replace it with offices. And I want you to see what happens when we do that. So, you know, I'm going to pause the game while I do this, while I zone this in. So, the, the outer section, I'm just going to, I'm just going to remove this whole thing. Which is probably, probably going to cause me electricity problems, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll get, it, we'll get over it. And we'll bring this all down here. Right, so we're getting rid of all of this. Then we're going to zone in some high density commercial on this side of the circle and then we're going to zone in offices on this side and this side as well and then when this grows we're going to we're going to look at the old noise pollution so let's take this off pause all right let's have a look at our noise pollution Oh, here we go. Here we go. And you're going to see the uh, the noise profile change. Now, obviously, the, the high-density commercial is going to be even noisier than the, uh, than the low-density. But then we've got these offices around here. And as you can see, the offices are not noisy. So if you put... Um, you can use offices effectively as a buffer in between your residential and your commercial. That's, I think, that's a pretty good tip. Now, the other thing that we can do, because we're, still, we're getting some noise from, uh, from our roads, we can start to convert our roads. Just go to the upgrade tool. Now, these are, these are four lane, aren't they? Yeah, these are four lane. So, we just want to put some trees in the center. So, look at this. I love this upgrade tool. It's just peachy. And we'll put it down there and then we'll go and look at our noise right now bear in mind, if you look over here and how bad that is and then over here you can see that it's see here there's like no noise out, outside so there you go right I am um, I should probably continue uh, extending these um, these roads get rid of some of this nasty noise pollution so let's go up here bum, 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 bum. and all around here it's gonna be all I, I gotta say this upgrade tool oh, it's so easy and this center circle as well there we go Can I get this bit down here there we go bum 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 all done all upgraded Oh, looking nice. Right, I think we need to check out electricity and water and stuff like that. Electricity is just about okay, actually. Which kind of surprises me. But we're going to need uh, we're going to need to start putting a second row of these guys in. That's for sure. Uh, water, how's water doing? Water's come down, but we should. We really are at the point where we need to put in another one of these we haven't got water treatment plants yet but I'll show you those as soon as as soon as we do get them uh, we can pop another one of these in Boom. there we go so our water water is looking great let's uh, let's do some more electricity then might as well might as well anticipate demand we're just gonna put like another row of these little babies in That is, um, that is a fair amount of electricity. That'll keep us going for a while, while we, uh, while we expand. What's our population up to? Our population, 9,700. It's growing fairly rapidly. We're getting like 200 people a week moving into the city, which is, uh, which is pretty darn sweet. 
This is growing, and look, 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 guys. We're starting to get nicer buildings. Remember those kind of slummy tenements? Oh, they've gone, and now we're getting these. Now, I am going to make a comment about the models, <clears throat> because I'm sure a lot of people will look at this and go, Oh, look, you know, you can see this model. Oh, oh, there we go, 10,000. Oh, wow. So we've unlocked level 6 unique buildings, and that's the maximum level. We can, we've can. we now got access to trains. We've got small business uh, enthusiasts, all these new policies, big business benefactor. Oh, I want to show you those because those have a big impact on your, uh, on your budget. We've got the hydropower plant, and we've got train stations and cargo train stations. Oh, man. You know, in the next episode... We're putting in our trains, because I'm going to buy this guy over here. Costing me 10000 But it's got an external rail connection. Boom! There we go. So we're going to get the, the, the trains in. We're going to put um, uh, a train cargo station, so we can start shipping out our logs. That'll ease up our traffic. Oh, man. Things are going to speed up now. Right, guys. I will see you for the next one.